Yeah, man, but anyways, you like to play Call of Duty, too? Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty cool video game, you know, it, it, it's intense, you know, and, you know, very, like, filled with action and all that. But, you know, my only complaint to it is, you know, it can be a little bit, have too much action to it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I understand what you mean. Like, and sometimes it can get a little bit too intense, where sometimes I might just, like, quit, like, right in the middle of the level, because sometimes it can be a little bit too intense for me, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, but I mean, with me, you know, I, I, I always play Call of Duty, you know, or at least I used to, you know, like, we don't, since there's no, like, Xbox in here, no Call and since the creator doesn't like Call of Duty, you know, we don't have that stuff, and, you know, there was actually a time, you know, where I was playing, like, with a friend, like, I didn't know him, I didn't see him in person until a little while later on, but I was playing with a friend, you know, you know, like, to, uh, uh, like, live stream or something, and his name was Charlie Brown, but that was his account name, and we were cool, you know, we would talk about, you know, like, Call of Duty and all that, right? Yeah. And, well, basically, like, later on, like, I think a little while later on, you know, he said something to me that got me offended. And I remember telling it to the kids over at, uh, summer school. See, I had to go to summer school. Why did you have to go to summer school? I don't know. Legal reasons. I I'm not sure. I can't remember, to be honest with you. But, anyway, so, so, one time in summer school, we were doing, like, show and tell. And, uh, I was showing, like, my Call of Duty and how long I've been playing with before. And I also told him about my, like, my gaming friend, Charlie Brown. And... One of the kids asked me, you know, this yellow turtle kid named Joseph, you know, he asked me, you know, what would I do to him if I saw him in person? Because I think I said something, you know, like the times where he got me, like, pissed off. And, you know, so he asked me, what would I do to Charlie Brown? And I said I would kill him. Wait, really? Yeah, I said, th I said that to the kid, you know, that asked me that. I said I would kill Charlie Brown if I ever saw him in person, you know, because he kind of screwed me over in some ways. And... Joseph, he kind of gave me, like, a nervous response, saying, uh, oh, okay, yeah, just don't think I'm him or anything. He kind of, like, gave me a nervous response, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then later, months later on, I, 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 I found out why he was acting all nervous. Because, well, I was playing Call of Duty, talking to Charlie Brown, and Mario got me a new Call of Duty, you know, and I was about to ask him for one, he got me it, right? Yeah. And long story short, basically, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm telling you to do it. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, you, you can tell me. Well, basically, long story short, the power got cut out, and we had to call it electricity and all that, and basically, we found that the reason why our electricity was down was because some mouse bit into it. And let me tell you something, this was no ordinary mouse either. This was like some big-ass mouse, you know, that was like, that could talk, too. The mouse could talk? Was it like Mickey Mouse? No, no, it was not Mickey Mouse, it was a white mouse. You know, it was like all white, you know, it, it's not making mess, it wasn't. But anyways, yeah, so, and I, I've seen this mouse before, you know, but anyways, so I found it, so the mouse was the one that did this, and I made him give out answers to why he did that, and guess who put him to do it? Wait, somebody put him to do it? Yeah, so, and guess who did it? Charlie Brown! Charlie Brown? Yeah, Charlie Brown, you know, my gaming buddy. And, and, and guess what? You know what, and guess who I found out who the real Charlie Brown was? Who was it? That Joseph kid, that uh, that yellow jo that yellow turtle Joseph kid. I found him who he was, and when I did, you know, I came out to his house, and guess what? I killed him. Like what? Like when I told him one time, and well, when he had to be suspicious and all that, well, I dealt with it by killing him. Well, wow, man, that's a uh, that was a pretty intense story you told me there. Well, not intense really, but you know, no, I, I no, I know what you mean, man. You know, it's it's crazy story a little bit. Well, no, I mean, you know, I mean, it's not cool for somebody to screw you over, even if you, especially if you haven't seen him in person, and then you find out, you know, like who they really are. And then you said that he was nervous, you know, like when you, when he asked you, like, what you would do to him, and you gave him a response, and he got all nervous, you know, like, was he really that nervous? Yeah, he was, yeah, he was pretty nervous, and I got a little suspicious, but we were in summer school, right, so I didn't want to, you know, cause too much havoc, even though I'm the kind of guy that does that, but, anyways, yeah, so I found out who he was later on, and, you know, shot him. I mean, you couldn't t find another way to deal with him, like, I don't know, fighting him or something? I mean, I could have done that, but in my mind, I just want to play Call of Duty, and so I just dealt with it the quicker way. Well, that's a pretty good story you told me. Well, I mean, it's not a story, it's something real. Well, you know what I mean, alright? Well, yeah. But now we're going to get to the segment of us being cool. Because, look, man, if you want me to be honest, I I'm glad that we're cool right now, man. I'm glad I can tell you, like, all, my all the things that's happening to me, like... You know, like me not having a job, me being all gangster and all that, and I'm just glad that we're cool now, man. Yeah, 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 I'm pretty glad that we're cool now, too. Even though, if you want me to be honest, you know, inside of me, you know, a little bit of me still has anger towards you, still wants to kind of beat you up in, a, in some ways. Wait, really? Don't be nervous, don't get scared. All right, I know, and I know I keep saying that, like, in a kind of nervous way, you know, but, and it actually happens, but... 
you know, when, when Benson and Mario like kidnapped us and brought us up to the basement, well, mostly I think Benson did that work. Yeah. When they kidnapped us, you know, it kind of changed my way, you know, or eventually, I think when, we, when I was about to eat you, you know, I, it kind of changed our ways, you know, of, it kind of changed my way of how I should really be seeing you. And also, I rem now, I re now that I remember, when I hit you and when you were like in pain, you were like all scared, right? When I was about to like, I think, kill you? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And there were, if you want to know why I haven't killed you, I think I might have told you this, I don't know. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know either. Why, why didn't you kill me again? It was because I I visited Snoopy. I, yeah, I envisioned I I visited Snoopy, and you know, like, and she was like, and she was like all scared and all that, and I realized that, you know, like hurting you was like you hurting Snoopy, and well, it was kind of like me hurting her in some ways, and yeah, I had a vision of her, and I just that's why I broke down and all that, you know, I just. Like I say, I'm just really sorry. You know, it's just that's the main reason why I stopped what doing what I was doing because you know visiting her, you know, being all scared of me and all that. You know, because I don't want her to be scared of me. I want to protect her. You know, uh, again, you know, the reasons why I kept beating you up those times because I'm very protective. You know, I want her to be safe, but I found find out now that I wasn't keeping her safe. I was making her scared. Do you think I was making her scared? I mean, I think you were making her a little bit scared. You know, yeah, and I don't want to scare her. You know, but sometimes I think I just get a little bit carried away. Well, not a little bit carried away. Yeah, I was going to say that too. I, I didn't know whether to say it or not. No, you can say. You know, but, uh, but anyways, yeah, I, I got pretty carried away there. And look, Black Yoshi, I'm really sorry. I, I, I mean, the first time, though, I think it made sense the first time for me to come beat you up, you know, have our fight. Yeah, I mean, the first time made sense, you know, I kind of deserved it there. But then, like, after, like, all those times we were supposed to be cool and all that, you know, we still fight. Yeah, well, that's because I still get defensive. But then after... You know, our kidnapping fiasco thing, you know, and our big fight up in the attic and all that. I realized that what I was doing was wrong and like, you know, hurting you, you know, at the end was like me hurting Snoopy and I didn't want to, I didn't want to do that. So that's why I stopped. But look, I'm just glad we're cool. Yeah, I'm glad we're cool too, man. I'm really glad we're cool. Yeah, I'm really glad we're cool. Do you want, do you want, speak of Snoopy, you know, do you want to show her that we're cool? Yeah, let's show her. Let's show her that we're best buds right now. Well, not best buds. You know, to be honest, I kind of think we still should keep a distance from each other because a little bit of me still has the thought of being you up, and like a little bit of me still is angry at you. But like, about the, the other eighty-five percent, you know, it still is like more stabilized. You know what I'm saying around you. But still, like, you never know what if it, if it'll happen again. Yeah, I understand. I mean, from that experience, you know, being beaten up by you in so many times. Yeah, but let's show Snoopy. All right. Where is she? Oh, no. oh, wait, there she is. Hey, Snoopy. Snoopy, come down here. Look, Snoopy. Look at this, Snoopy. Look, we beat him up. Oh, yeah? No, no, we're just kidding. We're just kidding, girl. But look, you see us? She's saying, "Are you guys? Uh, have you guys made up?" Yeah. If you want to, if you want to know something, yes, we have finally made up. You know, I'm finally. Well, I'm. I'm not gonna say I'm 100 over. You know, like the urge of being up, like yes, you because I still have the urge. But look, 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 we're going out. Here. Let me turn on this side. It's kind of dark in here a little bit. What was I saying? Oh yeah. But anyways, I'm Snoopy. You don't need to worry about. Well. You don't need to worry about me being a Black Yoshi anymore, alright? We're pretty much cool now. You know, we talk things out, right, Black Yoshi? Yeah, we pretty much talk things out. You know, we all apologize to each other, you know. And, you know, have you heard, like, the news, you know, like, like Benson and Mario kidnapped us? Yeah, they kidnapped us. And a lot of things just happened after that. You know, like, we, we had a big fight with Benson. I remember that. We teamed out to do that. Yeah. You know, that was pretty intense, you know. And mostly we teamed up against him because, like, you know, Benson was kind of training us like crap in some ways. And... You know, but if you want us to be honest, like before that, you know, we were kind of going crazy on each other, like up in the attic. And, you know, for it's been happening, like, I think for the entire, for like over, for about a day now that we were trapped up there. And then eventually, you know, the reason why, you know, I've changed is in some ways is because, like, when I was honing, I was almost about to kill Black Yoshi. Yeah, I, you know, because, see, I was hungry too. I haven't eaten anything yet. So. I was starving, and I think you were too. Yeah, and I just had this crazy thought of eating him, and I almost succeeded in killing him. But then when I was almost about to do that, he was like really scared. And guess what? I visioned you. 
being scared. Yeah, yeah. And it was and, and it was kind of and it was and it was down in the basement too. I visioned you like all scared, and you were like backing away from me. And basically, like when he was doing that, I, I visioned you being scared. And basically, what I'm trying to say is, you know, when I was about to kill Black Yoshi, it was all, it was like me almost trying to kill you, and I and I didn't want to do that. Now I was only doing this stuff to Black Yoshi just to keep you safe, but you know, I haven't been keeping you safe. You know, if you want me to be honest, you know, I think you would know. I think you know that. You know, I haven't been keeping you safe. You know, I made you. We both made you scared. Yeah, we both made you scared. You know, and I have this, you know, a gangster way. You know, I, I just, I just flip out. All right, and you know, I, 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 we shouldn't have been more cool. Yeah, I mean, the first time you know when you had our fight, it made a little bit of sense. But look, long story short, we're cool now, so you don't need to. So you don't need to be scared. But well, there's something I actually want to tell you guys. Wait, what is it? I think I'm st still thinking of moving. Well, not moving out, but I think I'm gonna. Uh, I think I'm gonna head out now. She's saying, "Wait, what?" Yeah, I think I think it's for the best, you know, because still a little bit of me still has the st uh, like anger towards Black Yoshi. You know what I'm saying? And I think I should. I think we should keep our distance from each other until you know I feel that you know it's safe for me to come around you without having the thought of trying to beat you up. Like I don't fully feel that. You know, don't misunderstand me. I don't fully feel that way, but. A little bit of me does, and you never know if you can have it completely again. You know, like sometimes you expect the unexpected. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah. But anyways, uh, I I I think I'm gonna head out now. Wait, like right now it's kind of dark out. Don't worry, I'll, I'll I'll find somebody to live with at least for a while. You know, until things cool down. You know what I'm saying? Like until I feel like I'm safe to go around you, because you know, again, a little bit of me feels like being you up, although you don't see it up right now. But wait, wait. Uh, Oh, I know, never mind. I thought I was getting that kind of feeling again, but it was just different, something different. But, well, Snoopy, I think I'm going to go now. It's nice to see you. And, uh, again, you know, I hope everybody's keeping you safe. And, well, um, this is goodbye. Alright, man. Yeah. See you, Black Yoshi. See you, see you man, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to see each other, maybe hang out sometime. Yeah. Alright, well, out I go. And again, Black Yoshi, I'm really sorry. And again, I'm sorry too. And Snoopy, I'm really and I'm so, and Snoopy, I'm sorry you had to see that fight, you know, between us. I'm sorry you had to see this fight. Yeah, me too, Snoopy. Yeah, she said it's so she said it's okay. I mean, it's not too okay, but I guess it's it. Alright. See you everybody. As Dawn would say, have a good one. Ah. Yeah, you just blew my head. No, let me try it again. Ah. See you later, everybody. Ah. All right. Well, I'm just I'm just glad we're cool now. And I bet I bet you're pretty glad that we're cool now. Now, right? Yeah. Well, you can you can hand out now. I'm I'm just gonna end off this video now. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, she says thank you. Thank you for making up with her, with him. Yeah, no problem. You know, I didn't think I was gonna make up with him. I, I, I didn't think I was ever gonna make up with him. But I guess you know, at some point, you know, we just decided, you know, that you had to change apart, and you know, we just decided to stop. Well, I guess I'll see you around. All right, and uh, I'm gonna end up this video now. And. Sorry if it ran pretty long, you know, but, yeah, you know, I just thought <sighs> we just needed to make up. And, well, guys, I'm going to get out of here, and I hope you enjoyed this, you know, and I, I'm i glad that me and Snoopy's boyfriend are cool now. And, hey! No, what? Well, what do you want? I want your m Give me your money. Ah, ah. But you want to know something else? What, what, what is it? I want your money, but also... What? I'm just kidding with you, man. <laughs> I guess it's a good one, y'all, wait, brother. Yeah, but I heard that. No, I, I just saw that you, you and Snoopy's boyfriend were cool now, and I'm just wanted to say I'm glad that you guys are cool. I, you know, to be honest, I didn't think you would ever be cool with him. Yeah, I didn't think I would be cool with him either, because you know he's known to be overprotective. But you know, here, let's talk about it somewhere else. Wait, well, well, I kind of want to end off the video. Well, I just want to ask you one quick question, all right? So get down over here. So my quick question to you is. Why did you beat up? Why did you? Why did you even have to be? Why did you even at the beginning beat up 
Gooby and Snoopy. Why'd you beat them up? I was, well, I, I kind of explained this like a million times, but did you ever hear? I don't remember, but I, don't, I, I to be honest, I don't even remember. Well, I, I did what I did because I was m very mad at them both. You know, they did stuff, like in two videos, you know. It was, basically, I saw two videos of them doing very, like, horrible things to like, other people around them. And I just got very mad, and I didn't know that those videos were not real, were the real thing. Yeah, like, those videos aren't real, you know. They're just stories, you know, and, like, it's not like they would really try to hurt each other. Yeah, man, but I, I, you know, my, my anger just sort of take over, took over me. I just felt like I really needed to let it out. Because I'll tell you, if I waited any time longer, I could have been a whole lot worse. One of them would have been dead. And I really felt bad after. And then, you know, I guess, I forgot. To be honest, I kind of, I, I actually noticed Snoopy's boyfriend a little bit, but not so entirely. But then, like, later on, you know, I started noticing him more when he actually came up and confronted me and all that. And, you know, I, well, look. I'm proud of you, Black Yoshi. Really, man? Yeah, and look, again, I'm sorry for beating you up that one time, you know, getting all crazy on you and all that. I'm really, I, I just tend to lose my temper a lot, I mean, as you know. No, yeah, I know, man. Uh, I mean, and you kind of, and you kind of don't like me that much either. Yeah, and that doesn't help me too much either, you know, that I don't like you too much, really. Only because I don't like how you get tough and all that, but, you know, we, we've always had it out for each other. But anyways, uh, I'm just glad you're calling out, and, well... Thank you. Uh, you're welcome, I guess. Alright, well. Also, I think that another reason I beat you up is because, well, I didn't want you to end up like me in some ways. Because I remember how I had two girls, you know, when I was being in love and all that. Oh, yeah. And not to mention, you know, I, I beat up a lot of people. You know, even before those two girls, you know, I was beating up other girls. But j just because, you know, they wouldn't become, like, my slave. And, you know, I, 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 I don't want to become that person again. I don't want that to happen. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Yeah, I remember that time. But look, it's all cool now, and see you around. All right, see ya. And I'll see you guys, and I'll see you guys soon, all right? Or whenever, whenever I see you again, I don't know. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and sorry if it's pretty long. And, well, as we join us, we say, don't forget to keep it rigid. All right. This is Black Yoshi signing out. Later, folks. But seriously, but seriously, see you later, everybody. Hey, Black Yoshi. What? What is it, Mario? Listen, Black Yoshi. I'm sorry that I had to knock you out. I'm really sorry. No, no, Mario. You don't have to say anymore. I deserved it. And I'm also sorry for Benson, too. Yeah, I'm sorry that Benson kind of flipped down on you. I didn't expect him to get as mad as he did. No, man. Again, I deserved it. And if you want to know if me and Sacred Snoopy's boyfriend are cool, yeah, we're cool. Well, I'm glad that you guys are cool. You know, that's... You know, I don't want you to have this drift anymore with him before me, because I know it's scaring Snoopy in some ways, and, you know, it gets everybody scared. Yeah, I know, man, but I kind of want to end this video off right now, so, no, I understand. All right, well, I just want to say I'm proud of you, Black Yoshi. And I usually don't do this, you know, because usually, you know, we kind of have it out for each other a little bit, but, you know, I'm, I'm proud of you, Black Yoshi, for making amends. Yeah, thank you, Mario. And I'm proud of you, too, Black Yoshi. You know, I, now I've heard, too, that you guys are cool, and... I just want to say I'm proud of you too. All right, well, well, we'll let you end off your video now. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll do that. Let's go. All right. All right. Well, I'm gonna go now. Later, everybody. I think this is the end of this whole journey between, you know, me and the Planet Dolan crew. And hope I don't get any. Hope I don't. I, I think it's best if I stay off the Planet Dolan channel because I don't want to see any videos that might trigger me and all that. And uh. Oh, well, if it's a Joseph. Oh, yeah, when I told Snoopy's boyfriend that I killed him, you know, I probably shouldn't have mentioned to him that, you know, he does come back in our videos, you know, but he seemed pretty cool. Wait, what about killing me now? Wait, wait, who's this? Oh, my gosh, Black Yoshi. Uh, what's going on, buddy? Nothing much, but I'm going to end this video off now. All right, see you, man. And I'll see you guys soon. All right. See ya.